Hi, I'm Derek Black. I'm the head of customer success at Ravana. And today we're going to talk about forecasting consumption products. So things that are transaction based, uh, not necessarily known how much volume you're going to get from a customer base uh, at the time of sale. And this is a challenge I've seen throughout my career and doing things in Salesforce or in quoting with CPQ tools where it's kind of difficult to necessarily predict or forecast exactly how a customer might be using um, things that are event-based and monitored by volume of usage over time uh, to understand how much revenue is going to come from that account. So what we have here is an opportunity in Salesforce that is selling only usage-based, consumption-based um, products to a customer. We have some event moder monitoring, we have storage, we have API usage. If you're watching this video, you probably have bought something like this, if not sold something like this in your life. Um, think of, you know, before everyone had unlimited cell phone minutes, cell phone minutes is something like this, where they're going to monitor how much you're using and bill you accordingly to that. Selling a product like that, you don't necessarily know what you're going to get. And that leads to some goofy situations sometimes inside of Salesforce. This may seem kind of silly, but this opportunity here, the amount is showing 25 cents because we have uh, 10 cents here, 10 cents here, 5 cents here per unit. And uh, the way that quotes need to be created sometimes for provisioning or downstream systems You'll just put in that you, this customer is getting one instance of event monitoring. They're getting one instance of storage. They're getting one instance of API consumption. And then you'll later kind of figure out what that looks like um, as they are a customer for some amount of time. What Ravana will do is before this is closed, we can generate a revenue plan for this, which I already have open here, which uses some metrics that are determined either by um, historical behavior or expected behavior from product performance to model what this is going to look like over time. So here we have um, like a consumption quantity that comes from um, an expected quantity here, which is not the quantity of one, which is how many instances of that product they're getting, but how many um, transactions or how many times they're going to actually use that product. So we'll take a total amount here and we'll automatically spread it across uh, however many months or weeks or years, whatever unit you want to use here, you can use to determine how much revenue is going to come in from selling that single instance. So here we're tracking the total consumption as well to give you a remaining usage so you can do drawdowns to understand if they're going to meet uh, a volume threshold. So for the API consumption here, we're going to assume that in the first month, they're gonna use 5% of the total quantity. In the second month, another 5%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%. And eventually we expect them to kind of reach full volume of usage after like seven or eight months. And then as this continues, we expect them to hit um, the, total estimated amount and go over towards the end of the contract for this product. And then we have different ramps set up for the other two products. So for the IOT monitoring, the storage, um, these are looking up to data tables that determine that these data tables can be, you know, keyed in manually, or they can be determined through, um, machine learning or numerical methods of existing plans that are in Salesforce to determine what these rates should be. So based on this uh, opportunity, we have this. This opportunity here is also um, based off of a quote. And something that may happen is we may want to change the estimated usage or the subscription term or something like that. So when I change this to accommodate a bit more um, volume here, so I'll change this to 39,000 uh, IoT events. When I save this quote, it will bring me back. It will update the quote, as you're familiar with. These quote quantities are still one. I changed a different quantity field. So when I go to look at my opportunity, 
basically nothing's changed. It's just saying, hey, I'm going to 25 cents. But we know that is not uh, necessarily true. When I go back to the revenue plan, um, I should see an update here to where the consumption will be flipped back to the number that I put in, which the 39,000. So it already happened. So any updates that are happening to the quote or the opportunity, opportunity products, we monitor that and in real time update the forecast. So things aren't sitting stale um, for finance to understand, um, you know, predicted revenue off of this or the sales team to understand what their estimated compensation might be. Uh, anytime something is changing with the customer, uh, that can be updated. Also, predictions can be overwritten if you want to. So in this case, if they think that like the API consumption for the first month is actually going to be zero because um, there's some implementation lag or something like that for whatever they're doing with this. You can update directly in here to put in kind of your own calls. So maybe this is going to be zero and the storage is also going to be lower. So 500. This can be saved to show what's going on. And this will give you a more accurate picture of the expected revenue for this type of deal and it allows you to, to manage two sources of input for this directly from the field um, by the sales rep or someone saying, hey, like the customer told me that they're not going to use this this month, so let's not forecast revenue coming in or through other means of divining how this is going to be. So this will update the you know, total amount of revenue coming through to um, show the predicted amount. That's how Ravana can partner with Salesforce, Salesforce products to deliver consumption forecasting um, for transaction or usage-based products.